In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Michael, and I am a sinner. Because I am a sinner, I sin. At first, I didn't think that it was so bad. After all, we're all sinners, aren't we? I mean, there were some who knew my sin. They knew about my sin, and they just give me a little wink and a nod and maybe a, a knowing elbow in the ribs. But this sin of mine just festered and grew. I listened to the sermons. I listened and heard the discussion in Bible class. I read my devotions each day. And I knew that this was something that I ought not be doing. And so I would stop. Until the next time. The next time Satan found a way to lure me down temptation's path and find a different sin to be my pet. Or maybe it was just a different version of the same old one. And the cycle would repeat itself again. And I would try to stop. I would fight with Satan And he would show me all the things that I had done. All the words that I had spoken in anger against my neighbor. All the curses I have called down upon myself and my brothers and my sisters. And he would say to me, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? I would see my hands. These These hands that would stroke the hair of Jezebel, succumbing to her seduction. These, these hands of Cain that would be raised in anger against my very brother. Raised in bringing death to my very brother. How could I hold out these hands at the altar of God and touch the holy body of Christ? How could I hold out these lips to sing the praise of my God? In my sin, I handed myself over to the destruction of Satan. My sins were not some victimless crime against myself and myself only. But each and every transgression was a blow inflicting pain upon the entire church. And I just knew. I just knew that if I spoke that sin, if I gave it a name and admitted its reality in the presence of others, their blows against me would surely grow. And those blows would be overwhelming. But I couldn't keep it to myself. The sorrow was just too great. My bones cried out, and they ached, and they cried out to the Lord. I had to speak those words. I had to speak the truth into the ears God had given to listen. Into the ears of my pastor. This one that God had sent to withhold forgiveness from me as long as I did not repent. He is the same one God sends to heap joy, the great joy of forgiveness upon me. And lift the burden of my sin with those rapturous words. Christ has died for you. He has atoned for all your sins. In the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins. Go in peace. And I was set free. Cleansed of my guilt. Unburdened of my shame. Restored as a child of God. Restored not just to my pastor. Restored not just to God but restored to all of my brothers and sisters in Christ in the forgiveness of all of my sins. 
I tell you my story not because it is unique or particularly engaging. Each and every one of you has a similar story. But this story is not about us. Who has the most sin? Whose sin is the most unusual or the most shocking? We tell this story because it is about Christ. It is about the work that he did in dying on the cross for you and for me. It is about his work of forgiveness in our very lives. The work of the forgiveness of sins that he has given to us. Christ is the one at work. Reaching into the dark despair of our sin. And delivering his light and his peace. What Satan would use to attempt to divide us. The sin that destroys our bond one to another. Christ uses to create an even stronger bond, a bond of grace, a bond of peace, a bond of forgiveness. Bound to him in the forgiveness of our sins, bound to him in the promise of our baptism, bound to him in his very body and blood placed upon our lips, yes, those lips that would curse our brothers and sisters, That bond of peace that he gives to us. Bound to him, we are bound to one another as one body in Christ. Hello. My name is Michael. And I am a forgiven child of God in Christ Jesus by grace. Through faith. And so are you. In the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Amen.